so beautifully fascinating. Hey guys, I am back and I'm outside chilling. It's beautiful out here. Walking around in nature and all that jazz. Chilling in this other complex. It's such a gorgeous view. Y'all look at this view. I walked a good bit and then I came back to sit down <sighs> just to chill and I had to get away from the kids because there's a playground over here where I sometimes take my kids to and there were a bunch of other people kids over there and I wanted to get away from kids not run back into it <laughs> so yeah just ran away from the noise just chilling um <sighs> again it's gorgeous Whenever I'm out here in nature, I always feel like this is where I belong. Not really. I always feel like I would be happiest if I was out here majority of the time. That's always been the case. And, um... I'm just happy that I found that peace within myself, you know? I'm happy that I found nature. Because for years, you know, I didn't know myself. I didn't know for sure what I needed to do or what would make me happy or anything, you know, besides my husband. And, you know, you need other things besides just your spouse to keep you happy, you know. You need other people, you need other circumstances, you need other surroundings sometimes. And me being out in nature is <clears throat> truly my thing. And I'm glad I found this a few years ago, just out walking, and I just started, I just got connected to nature again. And it wasn't that hard for me. I'm very happy that I did. It's brought so much peace in my life. It's brought a lot of peace among the chaos that I've been through and I'm still going through. It brings peace. Just sitting out here enjoying the nature sounds. I just love hearing nature sounds above everything. I love hearing the birds and the crickets and the, seeing the turtles splash in the lake and just watching the water ripple and seeing the bees and flowers and butterflies and dragonflies and frogs and everything else I'm, I've been seeing out here. I just love it all. <laughs> you know? And it's great. It's great. To know that, it's great to have that feeling. 
you know. Um, I remember one time, uh, I don't know when this was, but a couple of months ago, I believe, there was a news article or a video or something where someone had taken the COVID vaccine and it was a woman and she said one thing she said oh i can't feel god anymore i think she said something before that but the main thing she said was i can't feel god anymore and you know what y'all that shit scared me that shit scared me because basically what she's saying is she can't feel her soul anymore because the way i think of god it's just your inner soul, your true inner soul. Um, and that made me feel like when she took that vaccine, it made her lose herself. It made her lose her touch with her, her soul. Possibly made her lose touch with nature. If she had any connection to nature, um, it means that she lost that. And ever since I heard that, that was just kind of chilling to me, really. If you have a deep faith in God, whatever God you believe in, whatever entity you believe in, the universe, whatever, if you have a deep connection with that and the vaccine made you lose it, that is not good, you know? <laughs> like I said, that shit scared me. So, um, I already didn't want to take that thing before I heard that, but that alone made me not want to take it even more because... Y'all, I have scratched and scraped through life trying to find a connection with something that brings me peace, regardless of what else is going on around me. And I found it. Nature is that thing. Being out here is that thing that makes me feel utter peace. It makes me feel that I'm living. It makes me feel like I'm worthy and I'm, I, I deserve something because nature it just surrounds you and it takes, takes care of you. Nature hears you. Nature communicates with you if you try to communicate with it. You know, that is my God or my universe and, you know, all of that. It's all technically one and the same. But like I said, if that lady... Ah, come on, Bugs, leave me alone. I'm not here to harm you. <laughs> anyway, if that lady said she can't feel God anymore, that means she lost whatever brought her soul peace. That ain't cool, y'all. That is not cool. So just, I want you guys to pay attention to that. You know, I really don't think it's good. I don't really think that um, you should be losing anything. If you get a vaccine, I, I don't really believe in any of that. So <laughs> that's just my little confirmation on why I'm not taking it. But you know, that was chilling. That thing went viral and it was everywhere, you know, and, <laughs> you know, it is weird. I've even noticed some changes in my own grandmother when she took the vaccine. Um, she started talking about God less and she's an avid, avid, super avid Christian. Um, if y'all remember a few years ago, I did a video on the fact that she, um, she said some cruel things about my husband because we don't, believe, we don't go to church anymore. We don't believe in the Christian God and all that other bullshit. She's done some cool stuff regarding God. <laughs> there were times I didn't talk to her for about two, three years at a time because of it. But ever since she took that vaccine, she has been talking about God way less, and that's strange to me. Um, I can't say it's bad in that sense because our relationship has gotten a tad bit better because she just is not hooked, you know. She's not hooked on so-called God anymore. She's not a religious zealot. She's not as much as she used to be, you know. There's some changes probably going on in her mind. That vaccine is probably rewiring some things. You know, in that sense, it's good as far as our relationship. But as far as, you know, how she feels, I don't know how she feels about that. You know, she might feel like her soul is dying. Um, you gotta remember, religious zealots, they live on religion. They, they act like they can't live without it. Ah, come on, little bugs. Go away please they um they, they can't live without it so if she feel like she can't she doesn't have god anymore what's gonna become of her you know these people who are once religious zealots are just gonna become a shell of a person <laughs> over time i believe that's <clears throat> what's going to happen and then right and they become a shell and they think they have nothing left 
they're going to be indoctrinated with something else. But when this new indoctrination comes out, it's going to be easy for them to fall under because they've lost their whatever their soul connection was. They've lost their connection with God, nature, the universe, Buddha, whoever they pray to, whoever they talk to. They've lost that connection. So, you know, that's, <laughs> that's why I am... Staying away from that vaccine, I don't want to lose this connection with nature that I worked so hard to build. I worked so hard to find. I worked so hard to nurture and keep going, you know. And it's really important to me. This ain't no bullshit like, oh, you just talking all sappy and... Uh, no. I'm legit serious, y'all. <laughs> um, I think that that thing they're injecting people with is making everyone lose a part of their soul because when you have religion or you have something you cling dearly onto I believe that it rewires your brain in a way to where it erases all that and you're not nearly as much of a facility as you used to so once you become an empty computer again like Janelle Monet, Janelle Monet's um, album called Dirty Computer once you become a dirty computer again aka an empty computer they will be able to reprogram you. They're going to bring something out. And they're going to be able to reprogram you. And it's going to be quick. It's going to be easy. You know. Yeah, you put down Christianity. You'll you'll live for a few years. You know. Slowly losing your connection with what you once had. And um. They're just going to reprogram you. I, I really believe that. You know. They even showed that. In some of Janelle Monáe's music videos from that album. I remember seeing some stuff and it made me just wonder like what's what's to come for the future? What is this vaccine? What's What are they trying to make people do? And I already know what it is. What I'm saying is just a piece of it, you know? I'm not going any further. That's just my view on what I think the vaccine is doing to people regarding um, religion and, you know, your beliefs. That's just what I believe, so... Yeah, it's sad. I know. I know. I know. I know. I don't want to ever lose connection with these trees out here. You know, I'm a tree hugger for a reason. <laughs> so, um, that's basically all I want to say in this video. I think I said everything that I had on my mind to say. I want to walk around and keep enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. I'm going to keep enjoying it. Sadly, this lake is receding. Every time I come look at it, the water gets lower and lower. That ain't cool. Nature's dying, y'all. We got to start loving it and nurturing it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I said I was done. I'm still going. Well, I hope you guys are having as great of a day as I am. I hope you stay safe. And stay in touch with who you are and what brings your soul joy always no matter what's going on be aware even if you do take the vaccine be aware of how you're feeling how you feel afterward and any changes just saying i hope you're having a great day second hour month minute and decade thank you for watching peace out Fishies. I see all kind of fishes in the water. Here, a rock that the turtles are usually on getting closer and closer to me.